We are here today as part of our normal day-to-day -day duties, but uh, it is more intense because other people have come from uh, other institutions and organizations to support just because of the massive uh, cleanup exercise that is going on. Uh, we deployed our men this dawn together with logistics, and as you can see, we've deployed a lot of trucks to ensure that whatever refuse that is gathered is picked. For that matter, uh, we've been able to clear you know, the area of fault. For now, we are going around and then collecting it into the trucks and taking it to the landfill site. Uh, what I want to add is that the contribution of our men and Zoom Lion in general, you know, in the region and in the whole country, is something really that we cannot measure because it's too massive. You know, you realize that uh, the fault that we have around us in the market circle within a short period of time has been cleared. And much of it is being done by our own, uh, you know, people. For that matter, I would say that uh, they are doing very well. And without us, the issue of sanitation would actually not be the best in the whole country. We have men all over Takrade and even beyond. Good. Uh, what is happening is each and every one of them has a place to clean. But when it comes to clean up, they clean their various push, uh, uh, plots very early enough. Then they gather around the market circle to join the you know, general public, do the other clean up exercises or clean up around. That is exactly what we do. So in Takrade, for instance, we have close to about 300 project staff. And when it comes to clean up exercise, they all come out to, to support in one way or the other to clean the place. If you go to, uh, towards the police station, that is the opposite the, the, the post office, we have about four communal containers there. That is a 23 cubic meter container, four of them. And uh, on daily basis, uh, we pick uh, almost all of them to the landfill site. And there are even times they are not full. You get it. And aside that, we have the 12 cubic uh, meter containers around. As you can see, we have some of them dotted around. You know, um, what is happening is that, you know, we sometimes uh, will not be able to pick a container, maybe as a result of a fault from the, uh, a vehicle. And as soon as that is rectified, it is cleared. You get it. If you really want to know that uh, our guys are working, you come here in the evening around 6, go around the market circle, see the fault, go inside the market, see the fault, and come early in the morning around 6 the same time and see whether you see those ones. That will let you appreciate the work our guys are doing. So if anybody is saying that the refuse around market circle is overwhelming, we cannot do I will really will not buy to that, except that the person will have to study the trend observe the periods that the refuse is generated and come again the next day in the morning to attest for himself or herself and will really confirm that the guys are doing well. In fact, um, we, we have a lot of our people who have been abused anytime they come out to work. People don't actually appreciate what they do. And I think that uh, for environmental sanitation or issues about sanitation, it has to be a collective responsibility. If you don't really see the importance of any of the project staff, certainly you would not appreciate what they do. So we would want that they should give them the maximum respect that they deserve because without them, I'm sure we'll be engulfed in fault. And this, as a result, can be outbreak of uh, some diseases. And I think that that is not the best and I want to appeal to the general public to have respect for them and also appreciate the work they do. I also want to say that just as it's a collective responsibility, let's try as much as possible to try to clean our surroundings. If possible, we have waste bins that we give to clients. At least subscribe to one, although it is not for free, but the amount that is paid for at the end of the month it's, it's just something small, so that you can also contribute to keeping the you know, metropolis uh, clean. Just imagine if this monthly sanitation cleanup exercises were not going on. Just imagine what would have happened. So I think that uh, it's just about the mindset. If we are able to educate ourselves to understand that 
you know, uh, sanitation is a collective responsibility. I think we will get there. But if we also say that uh, every month we come to clean, a lot of uh, uh, refuse is generated, for that matter, uh, we are not working. That is not the case. Also understand that this is uh, uh, the central business district. It's a place where a lot of activities are taking place. People buy and sell. They generate refuse. So certainly the volumes will keep on increasing. And Takradi is, is a place where, you know, almost every day we have people coming in and going out. So once they come in and go out, they will generate refuse. You know, so let's, let's try to encourage ourselves because I know that what we are doing is in the right direction. And without what we do, certainly there will be an outbreak in town. So let's try to encourage ourselves, encourage others to join so that we'll try to keep uh, the, the region uh, clean at all times.